Thank you so much, sir. Is it some of us that you see climb podiums like this? We knew where we started. I will talk about Pastor Wally because there were times I didn't want to, in fact, I didn't want to have anything to do with him growing up. I've known him as far as when I was a child. It's not even a teenager, a child. And anytime we hear that there is a program going on in Oboro, Axis, <laughs> of MFM, those days, if you went for Pastor Wally's program with your babe, <laughs> that night, that relationship is over. <laughs> because God was using him mightily to shape our lives, to shape teenagers and restored to the right path. And so I was always very scared of him. In fact, there's something he did to my elder sister that I can't forget. <laughs> For three days, she was under the anointing. She was talking in tongues. Anyone that comes close to her, she will tell you everything about you, what you did last. She will give you instructions for the future. That happened for three days. She was lost in the realm of the spirit. Until tomorrow, I'll continue to talk about Pastor Ali because, sorry, we have to celebrate fathers because we know, <laughs> we know how we started. <laughs> so, <laughs> in this place, it's not just a man of God, it's a principality. <laughs> so, when you see him, know that, <laughs> know that you are in for something. So, I want to advise and beg that you try to stay till the end. That you try to stay till the end. Thank you so much, sir, for your ministration. I honor your wife also. Thank you for coming with him. God bless you. I want to celebrate the gifts of Pastor Michael and his wonderful wife. God bless you. And God will continue to sustain this ministry and move it forward to greater heights. Are we ready to worship God? Are we ready to worship God this afternoon? Please give me um, F sharp. Whatever position you want to assume right now with your father, it's a table for two. I won't tell you to stand. I won't tell you to sit. I won't tell you to. However way you want to honor God at this point, please, I beg you, just honor him in whatever way, whatever position, whatever form. We'll be releasing sounds and we'll be joining with the sounds. The Bible says, they that come to God must come believing that he is. The first thing you do when you come to the presence of God is to have the consciousness of who he is. When you understand that he is, then everything about you, your disposition of heart and everything will be centered around God is here. It will be focused on him. You won't start looking about and you won't start looking at the waves of the sea. You will be focused on walking and journeying till you get to that point where you are lost in him. Worship is not music. Worship is not music. We have started worshiping, if you don't know. We have started already. It's not music. Music is just a tool by which you gain ascendancy. Please continue. Please stir up the atmosphere. Continue. It's just a tool by which you gain ascendancy into the realm of the spirit. So whatever sound you hear, if you hear, I see the glory of the Lord in your, with your spiritual sight, see the glory. If you hear Jesus is here with your spiritual sight, see him here. Because there are tools for you to journey. They are tools. And as pastor has announced, there are angels everywhere. 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 From the door to even the altar where I'm standing. To the speakers. To the, to the walls. There are angels distributed over the entire church. Oh, if you can see. Oh, I wish you would see. I wish you would get to the point where you understand that you are never alone. Because Elohim is here with you. That you are never alone. A believer is never alone. He never walks alone. For ye are come to Mount Zion. To the city of the living God. To an innumerable company of angels. To the church of the firstborn. 
to the spirit of just men made perfect. Oh, we welcome the spirit of Katrin Kuhlman. We welcome the saints that have journeyed before us. We welcome the saints. We welcome because when we gather, they are always here with us. We are never alone. We are surrounded, 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 surrounded by his presence, surrounded by his glory, surrounded by his power, surrounded by his mercy and his favor and his grace. Never alone, never alone, never alone, never alone. Never alone. We are surrounded by angels in their multitude, in their multitude, angels of mercy, angels of power, angels of grace, angels, angels of might, angels of boldness, angels are fiery angels. We are surrounded, we are surrounded, we are surrounded because we are the sons of the Most High God. We are the dwellers of the secret place. We are Zion. We are Zion. We are never moved by situations. We are never moved by circumstances. We are never moved. We are never moved. We are never moved by our bank accounts. We are never moved because he that is in us is greater than he that's in the world. We announce to the principalities. We announce to the powers. We announce to the rulers of darkness that we are the sons of light. We carry the light of the Father, the consuming fire, the consuming light, the inapproachable light of God dwells on the inside of us as he is, so we are, as he is, so we are, as he is, so we are in this world. Halamas Kopelefande Inandos Sabila Bande Paracata Elebregedele Supratanas Refila Paya Rando Manacandas Rabada Bacobele Ketea O Sabada Bade Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How can I run when I don't know the way of the Spirit? How can I run when I don't know the way of the wind? How can I fly when I don't know the ways of the Spirit? Changing everything in obedience to Christ. How can I run when I don't know the ways of the Spirit? How can I walk when I don't know the ways of the wind? And how can I fly when I don't know the ways of the Spirit? Changing everything in obedience to Christ. Changing everything. Changing everything in obedience. In obedience to Christ. Changing everything. In obedience. In obedience to Christ. Everything, changing in everything, in obedience, in obedience, realigning everything, realigning everything in obedience, oh, realigning everything, realigning everything. In obedience, in obedience to ah, transforming everything, transforming in obedience, in obedience, ah, transforming everything, transforming everything in obedience. I'm singing the song because. 
Yes, you are born of the spirit. You are born of water and spirit. But even your lifetime cannot contain the knowledge of God. You can't, you can't exhaust him in your lifetime. You can't. Paul, with all the epistle he wrote, he said, we know in part. And we prophesy in part. A lifetime is not enough to know. How can you understand someone who is ageless and endless? So when we are singing, how can I run? I know you have the speed of God. But the thing is, how much of him has been made flesh in you? How much of him has made flesh? Because when you journey in God, the more you see, the more you realize you don't know. The more you know, the more you realize you never knew. So this is why pastor said, you need to drop. You need to unlearn to relearn. Because if you walk with men of God in a certain way in the old, it doesn't mean you walk with you that same way. You need to find your pattern. So we are realigning. We are realigning ourselves to God. We are here to realign. We are here to journey, to understand, to get our pattern. We celebrate Apostle Joshua Selman right now. But he never came in the likeness of the way ministry had been done many times many years ago and the Lord is saying there are still many of us that will come out I mean many of us not many men I mean many of us that will come out and we will bring out and reveal mysteries of God to men like never before like things that people have not heard or seen for eyes have not seen neither has hairs heard I know you might be walking in the level of dimension in God but there is more this is why we are here this is why we are here this is why we are here I'm not here to minister to you I'm here to offer incense to God I'm here to offer incense to him because he knows me and he knows what he has written about me so I am here even right here as a living sacrifice to realign my life that his fire consumes me that his fire consumes me and straighten me and realign me to that which he has written concerning me for I come in the volume of the books as it is written of me to do thy will O Lord to do thy will O Lord to do thy will to do thy will to do thy will Changing everything, changing. Can you tell him, Lord, change my heart? Change my heart. Change my heart. This is not the time for you to sleep. You came to experience God. There is nothing wrong with the giver. The problem has always been the seeker. How much of him have you sought? God doesn't have a problem releasing healing. God doesn't, God is not holding the revival. The revival is not being held. It's not like he is stingy to re release it. 
the thing is the songs that are going to carry the mantle and the anointing for the revival how conscious are they of the power that is at work in them the sons that will showcase the glory of God how much of the spirit have they come to know how much of the spirit have they come to interact with even if revival is trekking from the time I was born revival should have at least it will have trek and have gotten here by now Revival is the awakening of sons. Awakening of sons. The Bible says, and the, the apostles, they went into the world, they turned the world upside down. It is the awakening of sons to their God given abilities, their God written potentials. That sons will awake and understand who they are. That you will not be afraid of the terror and that you will not be afraid to face challenges and confront them by the word and the power of God. We have the most, we are the most, we are the most advantage as children of, of God. We have the Holy Ghost on the inside of us, on the inside of us, the most potent force in the universe living inside me. much more how much of him have I been able to work out how much of him when God expects us to be at level 15 and you are still struggling with level 2 we are here to realign and not say it's for ministers no it's for believers we all have been called so when they say some of you that have calling some came out some stayed back who told you who told you that he gave his life for you for you to sit down in the pew and just be we are all are called ministers according to different level of graces he has given us how much have you been able to find out in God concerning who you are some of you you want to get married in the heart of your heart you know that marriage is not what is next you know you know that if you marry now the assignment is destroyed it is totally gone it is dead you know but you want to get married because you are you feel you are old or you feel you are getting old for a generation is coming and a generation is here who would not care how old they get married as long as they are the center of the will of God and as long as they are they are they are they are, they are doing that which the Lord has commanded them to do we will not be moved by lack we will not be moved by the economy of the country we will not be moved we will not be moved we will journey into God we will get that which he has given to us I will show it to the world because the riches of the Gentiles will come will come into the church and it's only those that understand that understand the place where they stand in God that will wield the power realign me Lord realign me Lord realign me Lord realign me Lord realign me receive this living sacrifice I am your worship accept this living sacrifice I am your worship I hey, receive this living sacrifice I am your worship Jesus receive this living oh, I am your worship come on the cobra I accept I am 
song today I brought myself I am your sacrifice I have more than a song today I brought myself I am your worship I am more than a song Today, I brought myself, I am your sacrifice, I am more than a song. Today, I brought myself, I am your worship. Receive, receive, I am I am the king Harapata Yikesianana Your Kai Accept Accept me Lord Accept me Lord Haya 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 Oh, 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 oh,
Mighty. on your throne you are mighty 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 on your throne you 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 are mighty you 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 are mighty Rabbi, I 
Kasi apana na mako, hali na manaka, elefe na koma na beleke ni ana matania, harada ya rada ya rada, harada na manako tiyoto, ibini na manikuli, harada yiki mene, oh oh ya na masha balaka, kai, shebeni lefu chokunja. We see you in your glory. We see you in your glory. We see you. I see the Lord. I see the Lord. High above the worship of the people of the earth, I see the Lord. I see the Lord. My eyes have seen the King, the Lamb upon the throne, who reigns forever. I see. Jesus seated on the throne. I see sing angels ascending everywhere. I see His Spirit changing things again. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I see. I see his angels ascending everywhere. I see a spirit changing things again.